right, we're gonna head into Walmart. I saw they have new mystery cubes, so hopefully we can find some of those in there. I think they're garbage, but I still wanna try them out, so let's hop into Walmart, see if we can grab some. See if we can ever get a good card. Let's do everybody a here a favor and buy all of these. If no one ever gets scammed by these. We're gonna open them all. Up. We found like 12, 15 of these things. These are usually like the worst thing you can buy. So I figured I'd just buy them all off the shelf. Usually I would say leave some, but I don't want anybody buying these because these suck. So I'm gonna buy all of them. We're gonna open them up, see if we can get even one good card. I don't know, let's see. Did I waste 67 bucks? Let me know in the comments right now. What's up guys? Uh, as you guys saw in the intro, we actually went to Walmart and picked up some of the worst items in like Walmart history for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we're gonna be opening these up in this video, but before we do that, we do have a giveaway. This giveaway is another one sponsored by sassy auto he's giving away six booster boxes of power of the elements so if you guys are interested in that we're gonna do six different winners so six of you guys have a chance to win all you have to do to enter that six box giveaway is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications and follow sassy auto on instagram i'll have the link down below and uh, six of you guys are gonna win so make sure you guys enter it let's get into this crazy bad opening all right so what i did was i grabbed you guys saw this all of these off the shelves and i said no one else is gonna have to suffer through opening these what these are they include 20 cards one guaranteed rare card and as we know from some of these mystery products at walmart if it says rare that means literally like a rare like not a rare card like hard to find card like a rare in Yu-Gi-Oh rarities like bad like cheap cards so yeah that's why i was like okay let's uh Try and save some people from opening it. Why is it not focusing right now? I was like, let's try and save some people from opening these MJ Holding Company things. Because MJ Holding does a lot of stuff like this and it usually sucks. So I'm going to save you guys from opening these. But also I figured since this is going to be kind of a weird opening uh, and it kind of reminded me of another really bad product to open for Mystery Gems. We still have a bunch of Mystery Gems left. So I'm going to, you know, grab some Mystery Gems. We're going to open up some of those. Maybe get a PSA card. Probably not because they don't actually fit in these boxes. I saw they recently came out with a Pokemon version of this. That's what kind of reminded me of these and I was like, these are so bad. We got to open a few more. So this is going to be an incredibly bad opening, but maybe we pull something good. Who knows? All right. First off, our first 20 card, basically random lot. So I, what I was looking for, okay, we have already revealed the rare. It seems like it's at the very beginning. But as I was saying, um, I was looking for those mystery cubes that just came out and I'm pretty sure those mystery cubes are just these on steroids. It's just like, whoops more cards but that's it like there's more cards but not actually good cards i think it's five rares so you get a couple more really bad rares but we have a virtual world beast this is from mega 10 2021 so it's like not even an old rare um then we go into the comments Let, let's just go through these like this i mean mega okay these are all mega 10 stuff so not only are they from the mega 10 which you know there's not a lot of valuable cards in that for the most part now after a year it's just commons out of the mega 10 literally bulk so they give you bulk by the way these were five dollars each so i paid five dollars for this bulk Okay, is anything not from Mega 10 2021? No. Wait, maybe this. So it's all from Mega 10 2021. We got one call of the haunted, the best card in the pack, probably. It's also from a starter deck. So as you can see, that's what we're kind of looking at for what they kind of do to people. They're like, hey, this includes some random cards. It could be some really good stuff. And then people buy it for five dollars and get like negative dollars worth of money. Like this bulk right here is worth less than zero dollars to me because, you, you know, where are you going to put all that bulk? Like if you don't even need the cards, you already like have all those cards or like you buy one mega pack, you get all that stuff. Why do you need that? You don't need it. It's insanely cheap. So that's kind of why I bought these. I was like, oh, wait, we got a foil, guys. Boral load furious dragon. This seems to also be from a me OK, we're having those weird focusing issues again. Great from a starter deck, starter deck RR, whatever that is. Uh, I don't know what that is, actually, but we did at least get an ultra rare from a starter deck, which basically means it's kind of like a common because you get it every time, but it's at least not a rare. So that's cool. Coats are converted. Oh, these are also from MP21 and Mega 10 2021 or Mega Pack, I should say. Oh, look, we have Blazing Vortex, another great set. And by the way, yeah, my voice is still not back. Yeah, I know it's been like a week. Uh, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I don't really know what to do. It's just kind of chilling. Um, I've heard many, uh, many advice from the YouTube comments, but I've been doing what I can to bring it back. But it's still kind of weird right now. But we're doing what we can. We're at least not coughing, though. So we're going to put this ultra rare up in the back because that is insane. Just an amazing pull. Now let's go to a mystery gems. Let's see if we can pull something besides a legendary collection promo. But wait. 
Did you know that Megaton 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. These are uh, pretty pretty difficult to open actually you kind of got to have a knife or something that plastic's pretty tight on there i opened a, or i bought a ton of these from a lot of you guys when they first came out because i thought they were going to be cool and then they were awful so now i just have a bunch of extras laying around because i was like when am i going to open these i guess now let's see oh look a slide for the sky dragon so at least it's not 13 obelisks in a row but it is legendary collection promo yet again so yeah great awesome um, legendary collection promo, but not to worry. We still have more mystery packs. Wow. Best thing at Walmart ever. I mean, just absolutely amazing. Totally worth the five bucks. Let's see. Oh, we've got another foil. It's a super rare. Is it from a guaranteed super rare set blazing vortex? It is indeed. So that this is a super, but it's a guaranteed super. So it's basically a rare blooming of the darkest rose. This is from legendary duelist season two literally came out very, very recently. I should say. Looks like all of this is from that. We got Cybernetic Revolution. That'd be cool if that was actually a pack, but uh, no, it's just a card. We got a Kaiba Man. Okay, Rose Witch. Harpy Lady 1, Rose Tentacles. Wow, this is an extremely exciting opening. Oh, Legendary Duelist 8. Ooh, Synchro Storm. That was a good set. We can get some commons out of that set. Wow, this is some good stuff, guys. Look, we got a Defloor. It's not a Baron, so it's not 100 bucks. It's just a common, but it's about as close as we're going to get to a Baron in this. Looking good, guys, so far. Have you let me know in the comments yet? Um, you know, if we're going to get scammed or not out of our 67 bucks, it's got me $67. Think about all the stuff I could buy with that. Like, I don't know, 10 meals, you know, <laughs> 10 meals, not maybe not even 10 meals at this point, man. Five meals. I don't know. Be way be much more worth it. We get a super. What is this? Oh, chime. What is that? That's what is C-H-I-M? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember what chime is. Uh, we got a lifeless leafish. Ooh, that's, that's a funny looking card. That's from Mega Pack 2021 as well. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Witchcrafter Unveiling, Penguin Brave, Marincess, Sword Soul Blackout. That's at least a good card. Remember when I was like, yeah, this is probably a few bucks. And then it was like two cents or something like that. Yeah, that, that was, that happened the other day. I, I actually edited that video and I was like, man, I look stupid right now. <laughs> Sometimes that happens though. Sometimes you just have to look stupid and that's how it goes. Opening these, I look stupid. Why can't this? I need to get my actual knife that I got from a bespoke post out of here, but I keep forgetting to actually grab it. We've been using the dull one for a while. Let's see, what about this one? Will it be a slifer? Yes, indeed, it will be a slifer. So back to back, BCCG slifers, okay. Pretty amazing Walmart products we got going on here, guys. These mystery products are totally worth it. 100%. Uh, when it comes to mystery gems, I wasted way more money on those. Okay, let me know in the comments which is worse. Mystery gems or these? I still think mystery gems, is it worse? I don't know. They're equally awful. At least you get an iconic like Yu-Gi-Oh card, even though it's the same ones like every time. This is just like, oh, oh we literally got the same card. So, it <laughs> Okay, another super rare. See, like, uh, I mean, there's just not much in here. I just want to find, like, a decent card. A card worth over a dollar. That would be in oh, insane. Oh, my goodness. All right, next one of these. I forgot how many of these we actually got. We literally bought all of them, which was, uh, I think, a favor to everyone involved. But Dances with the Beast, great. Oh, wait, we got some classic ones. Don't worry, guys. We have some Metal Raiders. Will there be a Pecanio Moth? That could change everything. This Magician, Oguchi. Okay, Block Attack. Swamp Battle Guard. We got the Black and Fire Dragon, Hibikime. Lava Battle Guard, Queen's Double. Illusion is Faceless Mage. Castle of Dark Illusion. Illusions, Soul Release, Dragon Bite. Come on, where's the Pequeno? Trent, Stem Pack, Armor Lizard, Larva the Cousin. We're so close, Cybersaurus. Oh, go Chikazi. One of the best cards we pulled so far, though. The Larva Moth. Not bad. This is one of the best cards we pulled easily. All right, Larva Moth. I mean, Metal Raiders. Okay, we'll take it. I mean, it's better than... I guess what we've been getting. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got another super rare. What is it? We've got a Rogue of Endymion from Mega Pack 2020. Okay, we're getting old now. Oh, more Metal Raiders, more Chance of Pequeno. There's the second evolution. Swamp Battle Guard, we got the Oguchi. Deep Sea, Jiragumo, Ground Attacker, Daggum, and no Pequeno. Rainbow Gravity, okay, not so good. All right, so far we have basically nothing good. And as soon as I come back to try and record a video, the cough goes crazy. There's something about recording a video and like talking nonstop that's just so much more like stressful on your voice than like, I've been talking all weekend and not had a cough issue. But as soon as I come back to make a video, it's like insane. So I guess it's just cause I'm talking like so much and I literally have to always be talking. Gateway Dragon, very nice. So, oh, wait. We got a double rare. We got a rare and a super rare in this one. 
Okay, a little bit of an upgrade there. Mystery pack, nice, not looking too bad. Now it's it pretty, still pretty awful, but is there anything else in here? Oh, it's a misprint. We got three rares. Oh, an error pack, let's go. Harpy Lady three, Harpy Queen, Protector, and Rose Archer, let's go, so amazing. No. All right, we've got four more of these things. I'm literally stopping between every single one because I can't talk. I literally can't talk, but we're going to make it through here. We got a Sonic Stun. That's our second Ultra Rare of the entire thing. Insane. We've got a uh, Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Yeah, some quality comments here. So at this point, I mean, I'm losing a lot of hope that we're actually going to get something decent. We did get an Ultra that time, but it's from Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. So it's like guaranteed. It's all Ultras and Secrets, so nothing too crazy there. Let's see if we can change that up. We have another Rare. We did get a three Rare pack which is pretty crazy um not crazy but they were all bad but it was still interesting that there was more than one redeemable jar because they consider those commons and also rare so they can get you know free rares in here melf we've got a swords revealing light which is pretty cool to see that blizzard uh kujikiri curse uh what else anything else lifeless leaf fish again are these all yeah megaton 2021 of course uh melfi cat and rose girl with the guy of the magical knight okay that's pretty cool so far after opening all these i think our approximate value is zero dollars so we open you know 67 dollars worth and got zero so keep that in mind if you ever attempted to buy these just don't do it it's literally one of the worst products walmart has ever had and ever will have but they're going to keep putting them up because it's five dollars for the cost of like zero so it's worth it for them at least uh not for us so it's pretty much the opposite of worth it is the least worth it thing of all time so that was just a regular rare again spring it's blast tilt to try uh giga thunder okay what is this in this is in uh bevo which is or blvo the blazing vortex yet again okay mythical bestiari yeah just uh banquet of millions okay that was a dual links card right there a master duel card that really ruined ruined the game for a while there um, but yeah, just nothing, just absolutely nothing you can get in these. You're going to get all commons, mostly from the same exact set that are bad, you know, not good stuff. I guess Metal Raiders was the coolest we found, to be honest. But even then, it's like, just buy a repair pack and get all that stuff. You know what I mean? And then finally, we have one more. Let's see what we can get. It's a Sylvan. Okay, is there going to be a misprint with some some hollows? This one seemed like it was already open, maybe. But Sylvan, uh, this feels like more cards. I think this might, there might be some older cards in here. Supervise that. Okay, interesting. Starter deck. This feels definitely like more cards. So it, it's like there's two in here. Gemini Soldier. We got the Saber Source. Yeah. Definitely older cards here, which is pretty cool. X Saber, it's actually nice to see some old stuff. Nano Break, Paz of Destiny, Go Giga, Gaga, Gigo, very nice. Lady of Pikeman, what's that from? Is this the one with like the, there's like a, a, a water deck in 2012, I think that might've been it. Dark World Lightning, maybe that's a dollar because of Dark World stuff, I don't think it is, but maybe. Token Stampede, Flower Guardian. Uh, ooh, the Chemo Critter Carbo Crab is saying eating those carbs. Very nice. But yeah, this is the most interesting pack we've opened yet, and it's still awful. So yeah, just never buy these. This is an FYI for you guys. Uh, do not buy these. They're really bad. They're not even fun to open, really, because there's nothing good in here. I wanted to open the Mystery Cube and kind of do the same thing and tell you how bad they were, but we're going to have to do that in another video. But this will serve as a good reason not to buy these i mean look what we pulled 67 dollars worth that's basically a booster box go buy a booster box of a set you're gonna get guaranteed stuff you know secrets and ultras this is what we got i mean this is pretty atrocious not gonna lie ultra rare here i it's out of a starter deck so it's probably not even worth a dollar maybe it is maybe we got one one dollar card of our 67 bucks but hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this do you want to see more walmart openings and like bad stuff or you know good stuff or just anything let me know in the comments shout out to tcg trust cards tomefo show tomato juice daxter jt chill puffins of doom ernesto deanda squirtle flexi boy dizzy stanley mike nance mimic gecko ian musa junior barding john nolan and untie show thomas mclean and seth fisher thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time Peace.